one of the greatest works that we were looking at as research for the project talked a lot about how there's tons of literature around the trauma of war and soldiers coming back from war and, and experiencing the trauma of seeing someone die you know, next to you or in front of you and a friend dying. Um, and that there's almost no literature about the trauma of pregnancy and birth and, and of, of like early motherhood and how like tenuous life is in that moment and how that is actually living inside of you, you know, or that death could be inside of you. I didn't mean for it to be unsettling, but it definitely is a bit unsettling. And I think it is um, because we are not shying away from the most terrifying aspects of pregnancy. And I think that's also because they are present even in a perfect pregnancy, your imagination is going to the scariest places the whole time. So navigating all of the fears of pregnancies and like how real those feel and the anxiety that it kind of grips you throughout, can, can grip you throughout a pregnancy, we really wanted that to be present because it is present because it's not a romantic thing. Like I was so, I was so, I was like, pregnancy is so romantic. Like, and even when we were like raising money for the show, I was like, this is gonna be so nice and fun. And then of course we got into it and it's like, no, <laughs> this is gonna be, I mean, it is, I think, the, I think the experience of the show, I hope will be very fun and like exuberant and also, but also very haunting and yes, unsettling. And I, but all, I hope it also becomes deeply personal because you are making choices. I hope it becomes a very deeply personal journey, but we definitely didn't shy away from the darkness of fears, basically the pregnancy fears. And those fears sometimes turn into reality. Like I myself have had a very complex journey of now having two healthy living children and that it's like tragic and devastating. And I feel like that's kind of normal. I actually think that in a way you could say you're bearing life and you're also bearing death because that is every life has a death. Many lives don't ever, ever begin. And so that is present in the piece as well. I had, I had been like writing and trying to get at what I was aiming for and I think kind of a revelation came when I realized that the ending was not going to be expressed through words and that words were kind of failing me. I was like, I'm just telling so much. It's trying to be resolved in dialogue and it needs to be resolved. This, if there's any resolution, it needs to come from a physical place. And so it's sort of, um, I mean, I don't want to give anything away, but like I think the end of the show is kind of um, uh, like a, the climax of like the work of a mother. I think like the work of mothers and how it crescendos and how it can, um, that like a selflessness can become violence, I guess you could say.